I will share what I do with one uh, piece of advice that we got from a truly real engineer, the real engineer, Robert Scoville. He's the one who's out with Kenny Chesney. We had him on the show a month and a half ago or so. And he talked about how even in a small environment, for him, it was the front of you know the first eight rows of Tom Petty stage. But for all of us, it's you know the entire room uh, because we're basically playing to you know eight to fifteen rows of people. We're not most of us aren't playing stadiums or even sheds or anything you know larger than you know several hundred people. Uh, he said he would put delays on the speakers. The reason being, you want anything that's live on stage to be in time with the signals that are coming out of the speakers or sort of more correctly, you want the speakers to be in time with anything that's live on stage. And generally speaking, that's going to be the snare drum because that's going to be hearable, audible to the people in those first eight rows, right? Or anywhere in the club. So what you don't want is the sound coming off the snare drum and then a mic snare drum coming out of the speakers at the same moment in time. Because they're both going to travel forward at the same speed. And the speed of sound is such that you have about a one millisecond delay per foot of travel. It's not exactly that, but that's close enough. And so what he likes to do is measure the distance between the snare drum and the front of the stage and then set a delay on the mains. And this is the all the mains, not just the snare drum in the mains, vocals, everything. You've got all the sound leaving the stage at the same time. So the snare drum is hit. And then however many milliseconds later, everything comes out of the speakers from that moment. Barely, percept- probably not perceptible to people in there, but you avoid all those comb filters, which inter- which have, means two sounds arriving at different, the same sound arriving at different times and causing problems. Reflections can also co- cause comb filters, but at the very least, you are starting without one. So I will bring the uh, mixer interface back up. This is the output on the mains that you are seeing. This mixer has the ability to simply set a delay on it. And what's really cool is you only have to put the number of feet in. Of course, it's not showing it on the Mac app. I swear. Oh, yeah, it is. It's showing it at the top of the screen if you're looking. So I've pulled it out uh, 3.5 feet and it's showing 3.1 milliseconds of delay. Uh, you know, if, if you, but that's pro- the snare drum's probably not 3.5 feet from the front of the stage or where the speakers are. Don't go from this, don't measure from the snare drum to the speaker on the side of the stage. Me- measure from the snare drum to the line between the speakers that would be the front of the stage. So go straight out. Usually it's going to be about, you know, maybe 15 feet, maybe 10 feet, depending on, you know, what the stage is. So you're probably going to add 10 to 15 milliseconds. But all you got to do is measure that. Now you ask, Dave, How would you measure that? Well, if you have an iPhone, there is a measure app on it. And what's cool is you can stand in one spot, point the measure app. It uses your camera. You point it at the snare drum. You drag it around. You literally like move it in space, aim it at the point at the front of the stage and press and it will give you a measurement. And then all you got to do is dial that measurement into your mixer and you're golden. 